Hey there, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for April 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general reading, yes? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, you can go ahead and email me. My, ne my email is in the description box below, um, and I'll get you set up with everything that you would need. If you don't know exactly what kind of reading you're looking for, just email me, let me know what's going on, and we'll talk about it a little bit, and I will help you pick out the best option for you. Yes? So a little bit of announcement moving forward. Um, I have a few options if you would like to see me in person, get an in-person reading with me. On Fridays, I am at Om Shanti Bookshop in New York City. The link to their website is in the description box below. Go ahead and visit them. Give them a call. You can book a reading in advance if you would like. Um, also, on Saturdays, I am at Collective as well in New York City. Um, I'm there from like 3 to 8 p.m. On Fridays, I'm at Om Shanti from 11 to 5 p.m. If you would like to pre-book a uh, reading with me at Collective, we are working out the website situation for that. I will have a link for that shortly. Otherwise, just email me, let me know, and I'll get everything set up for you, yes? Also, I will be at Awaken Fair in Tarrytown, New York on April 28th. That is a Sunday. If you would like to pre-book a session there, either 15 or 30 minutes, the link to the website is in the description box below, and you will be able to pre-book uh, a reading that way. Keep in mind that pre-booking ends on April 27th for an April 28th event. Yes? Okay, guys. So, I'm keeping it like I did last month. We're trying this out. Um, please let me know if you do like the format for this. I already got some feedback on it, but I would love more. Um, I, I do like having this conversation with you guys like this. All right, I'm going to keep recording it this way. Um, but I am starting with an oracle card this month. As always, I'm using the oracle of the unicorns, and then I'm going to use the, crystal, not the crystal mandala deck, the golden universal tarot for the freestyle reading to get into the energies. Yes? Alrighty, guys. So let's get started. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a me. Blah, 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 blah. Let me try that again. <laughs> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good for all involved for the month of April 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Sag, let's see what we've got for you. I'm going to give this a few shuffles. And we'll see what the theme is for your month. Yes? April 2019. I mean, this month just feels good. And your energy feels pretty good, too. I mean, Sag Sagittarius, I, I don't know. You just you tend to feel pretty lively and rambunctious. And things just feel good. But, you know, us coming out of Mercury and retrograde, it, it is April 1st when I'm recording this, so we're still kind of in um, the shadow period of Mercury be coming out of retrograde. But things were really heavy over that retrograde season, and now things are just energetically, universally, it just feels a lot better. So that's great. That's great. That's great. All right, Sag. I'm going to give this one more shuffle, and then we'll see what we've got for your month. Here we go. Sagittarius, what is the theme for your month? April 2019, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, okay, Sag, you got two cards. Everyone else got one, but Sag Mataz over here is special, and they get two. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. Ah, yes, passion and flow. Excellent. So passion says, do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. And flow says, find an easier path forward. Surrender the outcome. Release your expectations. So this is definitely very much, um, you have fire and you have water here, which is really cool, um, which is super interesting too, because your card in the tarot is temperance. And there are quite a few decks out there in which Temperance is seen as an well, is illustrated as an angel um, combining fire and water. It's often a temperance is about um, 
patience, yes, but also balance and alchemy. Um, taking two opposing sides or two opposing compounds and fusing them together or alchemizing them in order to create a new compound, right? And so I'm definitely seeing that here with passion and flow. That's beautiful. Like this, this really just does feel very, very right for whoever I'm channeling for here. So um, for some of you, well, okay, let me start by saying this. Um, you may have gone through quite a quite an ordeal during Pisces season, also during Mercury and retrograde, okay, which was also in Pisces. Um, that situation or that time period was really, really emotional. And on a collective level, we were all going through a situation in which we were having to like re-identify ourselves. Many of us felt like we were going through a bit of an identity crisis. Like me personally, I had to realign with certain elements of my life um, and refocus and understand why I was in it to begin with or why I was pursuing it to begin with um, and bring that back into alignment or bring that into greater alignment with myself because we're all going through this ascension process and we're in a special period right now where a lot more of our higher selves of our spirituality or our spiritual being is integrating into our physical lives at this point so that's why you may be going through a lot of purging why that mercury and retrograde period was so important because we had to push out everything that was no longer authentic to us and so for a lot of you guys Sagittarians, I feel like that's what we're talking about here. Um, there may have been some sort of reigniting of passion for you for a certain project. Maybe you found that you were actually much more passionate about something new, and now you're really, you're really into it. And so either way, you're really wanting to get started, and that's that Sagittarian energy that's like, let's just go, let's just go. Knight of Wands energy, boom, 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 let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. But you gotta like, you gotta relax a little bit, just a little bit. And I would absolutely say keep that passion. Absolutely keep that passion, but temper it a little bit, yeah? And um, you just don't have to rush into it. For some of you, though, you really are in this flow. You're very much feeling in the flow, eager to move forward, but very much surrendering to the process. Also, surrendering to the outcome. Some of you need to surrender to the outcome or release your expectations here. Um, so with that in mind, like you have an idea that you want to, you, yeah, yeah, Spirit just said spark of creation. You have an idea, you have something that you want to pursue, but you're needing to let go of how it comes to you, when it manifests, what it looks like, blah, 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 um, how it manifests, because that's going to give you the greatest potential for you to really be fulfilled in the situation because the, the the universe could you know have manifested it for you in a way that you never even imagined it could come right so that's why it's so very important when manifesting anything to yes hold on to your intention and hold on to a vision of it to in order to you know stay in the vibration but release release expectation um, and release the desire for certain outcomes in some ways, you know, because you're still holding the intention and the, and the vibration of what you want, but uh, what you desire, but allow the universe um, enough space to do it as it will. You know what I mean? All right, Sag, one more shuffle here, and then we'll get into your tarot for the month. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Boop. All right, Sagittarius. Overall energy, yes. Look at that. The Ace of Pentacles, Sag. That's great. So some of you are definitely embarking on. Um, their spirit is saying a new creative venture, but this is in the realm of finance. This is business. Some of you are starting a business, are looking to get into business for yourselves. Maybe you're starting a new job somewhere, which is great. Um, there also could be a new commitment on the horizon, or that's coming up. Um, that's pretty beautiful. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups is a celebration card, yes? So there's, a, oh, there could be some sort of proposal here. Um, and I apologize if I've spilled the beans, but I'm definitely seeing or feeling some sort of proposal. You know, this could be a dinner with family and friends that turns into someone proposing or blah, 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 or a celebration of an engagement. Um, 
This also, okay, the spirit saying uh, mind, body, and spirit. But yes, so the Three of Cups also, in, in my opinion, this also speaks to a union of mind, body, and spirit. And that's really what it's been talking about a lot lately. And for a lot of you that are starting on some sort of new creative venture, um, even though, yes, they keep saying creative venture, even though it's the Ace of Pentacles, um, it's a new start to something. It's it's working on manifesting something new in the physical, okay? Um and this absolutely could be in terms of finances. But this new venture that you're starting on um, is absolutely a product, or at least the passion in starting this is the product of a greater balance between mind, body, and spirit here for you. A, a deeper sense of inner union, okay, which is beautiful. Okay. After, under that, you have the Six of Cups. Very nice. And underneath the Six of Cups is the Two of Wands. There you go. There's that passion. There's the creativity right there, okay? Um, so, you're, so you're at a crossroads, yes, but this is a good thing um, in some sort of creative venture. Now, the Six of Cups does talk about potentially a soulmate, okay? So maybe if this is not a marriage proposal, maybe this is just a proposal of some sort of commitment here by a soulmate, um, an old friend, someone that's maybe someone from the past. Now, if you are of the, the mindset where you don't want your, your an ex to come back or someone from your past to come back, then don't even worry about it. Like, don't even waste the energy in throwing a fit over it. It doesn't have, if that, if that doesn't, if that's not what you want, then don't worry about it. Just move on or ignore it. Um, but for those of you in which someone could be coming back from your past, um, this really could be a happy reunion, I would absolutely say, especially with this Three of Cups energy. And that could set you at a crossroads. Do you continue to um, interact with this person, maybe get to know each other again, or do you go in a different direction? For others of you, this is a question of execution. How do you manifest this? How do you bring this down into the physical with the Two of Wands here, okay? Um, there could be a lot of information from the past that could help you. Past experiences, maybe some colleagues um, or mentors that have some past experiences that they could share with you. Also, for some of you specifically, this is something that brings a lot of nostalgia, um, or you're very nostalgic about it, or it's something from your past, from like a child, from your childhood that you may have wanted to do, maybe just earlier in life that you may have wanted to experience. Some of you specifically, now this is um, a past life thing, like you did this in a past life or you studied it in a past life and now it's coming back around full circle and you're able to put it back into practice or expand on it some more. That's pretty cool. That was really cool, Saj. Okay, great. So let's get into your um, the rest of your reading here. Now, I have been saying that this is the first half and second half of your month, but it doesn't have to be that way, okay? Um, it could be just the first half and the second half of the reading, right? It does. It, if it resonates for you as in it's the first half and second half of your month, then that's great. Take it as it resonates. But if it doesn't, don't worry about it. Because ultimately, the energies are fluid and everything's flowing together and everything's intertwined and intermixed. So whatever. I, for, for ease of lack of confusion, I am going to just say it's the first half and second half of the reading. Yes? All right. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading, you've got the Six of Wands. Victory. Excellent. So Mercury in retrograde really did a number on a lot of us, but I really do see here, Sash, that many of you are coming out on top. This is a, this is a victorious time period, Spirit, Spirit just said, um, uh, for April. Uh, overcoming deeply rooted obstacles, deeply embedded obstacles that have held you back in the past, made you feel some like somewhat in insecure or that you're lacking, that you're not good enough, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. But you really do have a period in which you've overcome that or you are overcoming that. And that's really, really beautiful, Sag. Six of Wands is coupled with the Knight of Swords. <laughs> All right. Um, First of all, don't let anybody get you down. If there are some people around you that uh, kind of want to knock you off your high horse or tear you down because they see you thriving, surviving, striving, whatnot, whatever, don't let that happen, okay? Uh, keep your wits about you, Spirit just said. But let me, if you can see here, this Knight of Swords is like charging at this, this person doing their victory lap. And it's like, whoa, buddy, don't rain on my parade. Um, this could be a Gemini energy. Also, I do see the Knights and the Pages as the mutable signs. So for you, Sag, it would be the the Knight or the Page of Wands. Um, here, this could be a Gemini, Knight or Page of Swords. Uh, Six of Wands also talks about Leo energy. So there could be a Leo around you. 
um, you could have Leo in your chart, but it's a very prideful energy. But I do, uh, and I'm hearing sticks and stones may break my bones. So there are some people that may try, yeah, and try and like knock you down with their words that may not, they may be a little less than um, encouraging um, or trying to tear you down, basically. That's really what I'm seeing here. Just don't let that happen. You know, stay humble, but also like, Take your victory lap, especially if you've really come if you really come out of a really pretty dark period recently. There's no reason you, for you to allow them to tear you down. Okay, it could be like it's some, <clears throat> especially if you recently um, like removed yourself from a a, a, a certain social group, um, a certain environment, um, and now you're doing much better. There, it could be those people that come back around to try and like knock you down a peg. Right. Sorry, I need some water. Okay, okay. Oops. Don't spill your water everywhere. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Sag. We've got the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a Cancerian energy or maybe just another water sign, Pisces or Scorpio. Um, but this is compassion, empathy, and understanding. Okay, maybe even intuition. Um, you may have gone through a period where your intuition really has heightened lately. Sorry, I want to close this bottle so I don't spill water all over my room. Um, but I see I see empathy and compassion within you. Also, a lot of creative inspiration, a lot of creative energy, maybe even just keeping to yourself a little bit, um, I, especially in the face of these people here, whoever may be trying to tear you down, you know, during the month of April or whatnot, or after you've overcome some strong obstacle, I see you holding a lot of compassion for them, though. Like, understanding that it's really not, it's really not what it seems. Um, they're probably going through their own thing, too, and they're just kind of, like, projecting their own shit onto you. But um, I do see a lot of compassion and empathy, and I really do feel like you've come to a point where you are just very understanding. You just get it. So it's not going to tear you down. It's not going to hurt you as much anymore. Um, but there's also a lot of creative potential here within the Queen of Cups. And also, you might be taking some time to yourself to really collect your um, creative vision or collect your thoughts when it comes to this new beginning, okay? Um, the, the, if you can see here, the Queen of Cups, she looks like she's just staring into that cup. That is often how it's depicted. So you can see her as very keeping her emotions very much to herself, um, emotional stability. But um, what I'm seeing here is just looking into like your creative wells and just trying to get familiar with it, especially if this is a new sense of creativity for you, okay? Uh, a new level or a new avenue for creative expression, right? Queen of Cups is coupled with... Ah, <laughs> now the Page of Swords, more Gemini energy, um, but this is seeking, trying to understand, seeking to find. Um, yes. This is definitely, I, I really am seeing um, that you are, oh, excuse me. You're trying to understand something. You're trying to get to know maybe this this new, cre like I said, this could be a brand new creative outlet for you. So you're just working to, to try and understand it a little more with this Page of Swords energy here, okay? Um, deep communication with yourself, too, is what I'm hearing. Yep. The uh, challenge in your first half of the reading here, you've got, ah, the star, which is Aquarian energy. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but healing. Seeking to find. There's a lot of seeking energy here, which isn't bad, especially with the two of wands that's underneath the deck here, which is talking about a crossroads or needing to make a decision of which path to take. And you're needing to just flow with it. I just heard you're, ne you're trying to flow with it, which is good um, because you, you, I mean, you've got a lot of passion for what's going on here, but... Um, It's almost as if this is somewhat of a dream come true in some cases. So that could be kind of challenging for you because, number one, you want to do it justice. Number two, you know, you want to get going with it because you're super excited about it. I totally get that. And, you know, so, like, it's a situation in which, like, you finally see what you've always wanted is, like, manifesting and you're, like, getting super excited about it, which is great, but you just got to go with the flow, okay? The star is coupled with... 
the devil, Capricorn energy, um, haste is what I just heard, haste. Uh, you got to be patient. Yeah, <laughs> you got to be patient. My phone just, let me, let me silence that, but my phone just, uh, anyway, um, definitely some Capricorn energy, um, some hastiness. Okay. Also some, some kind of fear. Now the challenge, I, I guess what's going, what's happening here is you're healing from anything that had might've kept you from doing this to begin with that might've stopped you in your tracks in the past. Okay. Letting go of the attachment, the drama, the codependency, the toxicity, anything like that. Coming, definitely coming into greater union with the self here. Now, also, because in some cases this could really be a dream come true, there may be a lot of fear standing in the way. Can I actually do this? Am I worthy enough? Am, am I good enough for this? Of course you are. Don't even, don't even entertain any of that devil energy, okay? It is not going to help you. It's only going to, it's only going to create more resistance and blockage. So don't even let, don't even, don't even, don't even. We're moving on. Uh, the closing message or potential outcome here for the first half of your reading, you've got four of cups. Some sort of missed opportunity here, Sag. Unrequited love of some sort. But also what this is saying to me is now you had the three of cups here, right? And the three of cups did come out in your overall energy. So now if you, maybe you've, you're feeling a little bit down because you have this inspiration, but you don't know how to handle it. You don't know how to express it. Here is the universe handing you that fourth cup saying, here, how try this. And it gives you some sort of stability, foundation in your emotions or foundation in this creativity somehow. That's not a typical way of seeing the Four of Cups, but coupled with the rest of the cards here, that is how kind of how it feels. Four of Cups is coupled with, ah, there you go, death, transformation, change. Um, for some of you, you've been looking for some sort of creative outlet, I want to say, or a creative inspiration for a long time. And because it hasn't really been working out so well, um, maybe you just haven't been able to successfully find something that really works for you. Now that's changing, okay? And you're transforming out of that. Also, some of you are really transforming from a situation in which, uh, you know, you were, there was unrequited love here. Like you gave and they didn't want anything to do with it or they didn't give back or vice versa. And that had an effect on you. And also, especially with this three of cups, the ace of pentacles and the six of cups here in the overall energy, this could be a new commitment to yourself. And you've learned a lot about certain things and now, and about yourself, maybe even about love and commitment. I just heard marriage specifically. So now, you know, and you went through that period of unrequited love, but now you're transforming out of it. Also, this could be Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. Yes? Okay, but that's beautiful, Sag. That really is beautiful. And that really could be what's igniting this passion here for you. Why you're wanting to just you're wanting to just get going because maybe you've been down in the dumps for a while. Understandable. Okay, getting into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies. You've got the Eight of Swords. Meh, meh. Eight of Swords is coupled with the Nine of Swords. Whoa, Sag. Well, that's icky. If you're feeling in a rut, being anxious about it is only going to make it worse. Okay, the Nine of Swords is a self-fulfilling prophecy type energy, all right? So don't even sweat it. Because honestly, for some whoever whoever it is that's dealing with this energy here, this Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, you are by being anxious about it, you're only making this 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 mental prison that much harder to deal with. The beauty of the Eight of Swords is that you can cut yourself out at any time. You just have to do it. Now, granted, that's easier said than done. But the anxiety that you're feeling, <coughs> excuse me, the anxiety that you're feeling here 
is only making it worse. Like, it's like a, the, a Chinese finger trap. The more you struggle against it, the tighter it gets around your fingers. You just have to do it a certain way, and then you can just slip out of it really easily. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. You're only making it worse by being anxious about it. And a lot of this anxiety for some of you has to do with this choice that you need to make here and how to express something. Feeling like you're you're trapped, you can't move. Um, you, 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 relax, you gotta relax, okay? You gotta go with the flow here, Sag. Yes? Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, you've got the Knight of Cups. Here it comes that creative expression. There might be a partner that may want to come forward and help you out, help you flesh out this creative vision. Um, uh, this just could be like this could be that cup handed to you by the universe, that inspiration, that idea, the answer that you've been looking for. It also could be someone coming forward to give you some sort of offer here of commitment, especially with this knight. I'm sorry, with the pay, uh, uh, the the Ace of Pentacles. Yes. Knight of Cups is coupled with, ah, the Knight of Pentacles. That's really cool. That's really cool. Um, so I, I really do feel like, now this could be in the second half of April. For some of you, I'm picking the up that this is in the second half of April. Um, because this choice that you're needing to make is driving you crazy and you're not being able, you're not able, you're just not able to do it. And it's just, you're, you're feeling trapped and you're only making it worse by getting anxious about it. But I, but then literally out of nowhere, out of the blue, someone or something comes through and it helps you get the ball rolling. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Cups and Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So don't worry about it. Like, honestly, don't stress about it. If you're, if you're having trouble Coming up with a solution at the moment, that's fine. Just put it down for a second. Set the intention to bring the, to, to, to manifest it or get some sort of guidance or clarity or understanding and just go with the flow. Allow it to happen. You can't force it. The more you try to force it, the stronger this prison gets, the tighter the prison gets, right? Okay. Your challenge in the second half of the reading here, you've got the Seven of Cups. Confusion, but clarity is going to come forward here. Okay, this is the most challenging aspect of this at either the second half of the reading or maybe even just the second half of the month for you. The confusion, the lack of clarity, not being able to, 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 to see or having so many options that you don't know which one to choose. I do feel like something's going to come forward, though, with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Something's going to come forward to help you get that clarity. The sun is going to shine, says Spirit. Okay, Seven of Cups is coupled with the Six of Pentacles. Wow. Investor, some I'm, I'm picking up an investor here, making an investment or or, or um, finding someone to invest somehow in this creative project of yours, and that really could be this person that comes forward to help you, a partner, a, a, some sort of maybe financial investor here. That also could be what this Ace of Pentacles is for some of you. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups, uh, uh, a team venture or celebrating the fact that you have found someone that you can work on this with or go into business with. Um, Six of Cups, it could be someone from your past. Maybe a, 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 an ex-partner could be um, a, a past co-worker or something like that. A, a parent, a family member, something like that. But being anxious about it is not going to help you, Sag, okay? So just... Go with the flow. Your closing message or potential outcome here in the second half of your reading for you, Sagittarius, you've got the hanged man. But the hanged man here is talking about a change in perspective. Go with the flow, Spirit is saying. Surrender to the process. Surrender to the process, Sag, with the hanged man here. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Piscean energy, but go with the flow. That's going to help you change your perspective. And once you finally hit that, that enlightenment here that's represented by this card, I really feel like things are going to be much easier for you going forward because you'll probably, you'll finally have the understanding um, on how to really keep in the, stay in the flow of the situation, right? The hanged man is coupled with the page of cups, Piscean energy. Reconciliation, the dreamer. This is going to help you, changing your perspective here is going to help your creativity flow much 
better. Much better, okay? I'm picking up a vibe of a self-discovery here, too, on an emotional scale or a creative scale. And now I know the the, the cups suit is a uh, is a card of um, emotions and maybe even psychic uh, psychic ability, love even. But I, I'm just getting a lot of creative creativity that's coming forward from you here. It's, and we only have two wands cards, and wands are the card as the suit of create creative expression. It's just that I, for some reason, it, a lot of your creativity, I guess, or whatever this creative stuff is coming from, is coming from the emotions. It's coming from the water right now. But also, also you being a fire sign, Sagitt Sagittarius, um, the, you are passionate in creativity, so. I guess it really didn't need to come out in the cards because I was hearing the message anyway, okay? And so it was still getting across to you. There were other things that the cards wanted to say or the other things that Spirit wanted to say through the cards. Yes? All right, Sag. So there you have it. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me and I will help you, help you get set up. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.